BTS, Jimin, and Suga Furious in court. Why does Jungkook have to be bullied? The silence that usually envelopes the South Korean military suddenly shattered with shocking news that rattled the world. Jungkook, the youngest member of BTS currently serving in the military, was reported to be a victim of bullying. What exactly happened? And why did it ignite deep anger from Jimin and Suga? Grief amidst military service this news first surfaced when the South Korean military issued an official statement about Jungkook's condition. However, rather than bringing clarity, the statement only muddied the waters. Jungkook was said to be a victim of intimidation and psychological abuse by senior officers in the military unit. The public's reaction, especially from ARMY, the name of BTS's fanbase, was swift and emotional. Jimin and Suga, who are also serving in the military, seemed unable to hide their sadness. In a closed internal military trial, both of them openly expressed their emotions, something rarely seen from the two idols who are usually known for their professionalism. Jungkook, the symbol of strength now wounded as a global artist. Jungkook has always been known for his cheerful attitude and extraordinary dedication. However, behind the dazzling spotlight, he had to face the harsh military environment. His role as a cook in the military unit often became the subject of jokes and insults from his seniors. A and anonymous source from the military unit revealed that Jungkook was often given excessive tasks without clear reasons. He works hard without ever complaining, but I can see the burden slowly crushing him, said the source. Jimin and Suga's emotional response at the internal military trial Jimin's emotions reached a boiling point when he heard reports that Jungkook was considered weak by his seniors. Jungkook is one of the strongest people I know. If even he can endure in this environment, then there's something wrong with the system, Jimin said while holding back tears. Suga, usually known for his calm demeanor, also showed his emotional side. In a conversation with a military officer, he firmly stated, If this is how you build character, then the system has failed. You don't build character by destroying someone's heart. The controversial military statement, the official statement from the military only worsened the situation. In a press conference, a military spokesperson stated that the incident was part of the adaptation process in a hierarchical environment like the military. This statement sparked public outrage, as many saw it as an attempt to justify a culture of bullying. This cannot be considered normal. If Jungkook, who has global influence, can become a victim. What about ordinary soldiers who have no voice? Wrote a fan on social media. Wave of solidarity from ARMY and the public ARMY immediately took action. Hashtags like hashtag justice for Jungkook and hashtag end military bullying became global trends. Not only fans, but also human rights activists and the general public called for reform in the South Korean military system that a human rights lawyer highlighted the case as an example of systemic failure. If bullying is considered part of the adaptation process, then we have failed as a nation in protecting those who serve the country. Hope for change currently, Jungkook is still being treated in a military hospital. His future in the military is uncertain. Many hope that this case will serve as a catalyst for reform in South Korea's military culture. Jimin and Suga, despite the difficult situation, remain committed to supporting Jungkook. In their letter to BTS's management, they urged that decisive steps be taken to protect the group member who is facing such difficulties. However, the question remains, is this enough to bring about real change? Or, like previous cases, Will this incident fade away without meaningful action? Conclusion The power of BTS's solidarity behind all the controversy. One thing is clear. BTS is not just a music group. They are a family who supports each other through good times and bad. Jimin and Suga's tears have become a symbol of solidarity that inspires millions around the world. Will this be the beginning of reform in South Korea's military system? The public is waiting, hoping that justice will be served and no more Jungkooks will have to go through similar experiences. I ask this tragedy real or just a media stunt? Let's reflect together. The tragic story involving BTS's Jungkook, Jimin, and Suga in the context of military service has caught the attention of the public worldwide. 
From bullying reports to Jimin and Suga's emotional tears, this story has touched many, especially BTS's loyal fans, ARMY. However, one big question now arises. Is this event real, or just a media stunt designed to grab attention? Let's explore together. Fact or fiction? Why doubt the truth of this news the case surfaced with strong claims? Jungkook, the youngest member of BTS, became a victim of bullying in his military unit. Official reports stated that he faced mental and physical pressure due to the treatment by his seniors. However, some aspects have raised doubts among certain parties, contradictions in the military's official statement the South Korean military, despite acknowledging the incident, claimed that this was part of the adaptation process, normal in a military hierarchy. But is it really possible for the adaptation process to go this far, causing a soldier to be hospitalized? Or is this just the military's way of dampening the storm of criticism that has started to build? Jimin and Suga's emotional response The tears shown by Jimin and Suga are seen as genuine solidarity with Jungkook. However, some parties are skeptical. They question, is this truly a personal reaction, or was this emotion deliberately displayed to stir public sympathy, media response, and worldwide hashtags undeniably? This issue immediately became a trend on social media. Hashtags like hashtag justice for Jungkook and hashtag protect BTS dominated platforms like Twitter within hours. But how much of this news is actually based on facts and how much of it might have been exaggerated for sensational purposes? Why we should be cautious with the information circulating this story touches on a sensitive topic, bullying in the military environment. In South Korea, this issue is not new, and many victims are often forced to remain silent. However, when a public figure like BTS is involved, all eyes are on them, which is why many are questioning what's really happening. Was Jungkook exploited? With his status as a global star, Jungkook's story naturally brings international attention to issues in South Korea's military. However, some skeptics ask, is it possible that this incident was intentionally exaggerated to push for reform within the system? Media and news sensationalism in the modern media world, emotionally charged news tends to attract more attention. Jimin and Suga's tears have become headlines on various news outlets, but is all this truly their genuine feelings or part of a pre-designed narrative, staged or coincidence? Many argue that this case is too perfect to be a coincidence. Three BTS members in the military, one being bullied, and two others crying emotionally. Is this a natural scenario? Or is someone trying to create a dramatic story to gain global sympathy? Encourage readers to think critically as readers. We need to reflect on a few questions. Is the evidence presented so far strong enough to support the claim that Jungkook truly became a victim of bullying? Why did the military initially seem defensive and almost try to cover up the case? If this truly happened, why didn't Jungkook, as a public figure, receive extra protection from the system? On the other hand, is it possible that certain parties deliberately used this issue to push for reform within the military system? How likely is it that this story was exaggerated by the media to draw attention and create a sensation? What do you think of Jimin and Suga's response? Was it a natural reaction or a strategy to build a specific narrative? Preliminary conclusion, ultimately, only time will reveal the truth behind this case. Until that moment comes, it's important for us as readers not to immediately believe everything we hear. Think critically, seek information from various sources, and don't get carried away by emotions alone. What do you think? Do you believe this event is real or just a carefully crafted scenario? Do you think Jimin and Suga's tears are genuine proof of this tragedy or part of a media game? Let's discuss in the comments. Your opinion is vital to understanding the truth behind the story.